Welcome to our second training video. This video will be done by Sensei Mateis. It will be about Kumute training, footwork, and different ways to improve your sparring. Please enjoy it, train hard, and come back to us with feedback and how you, what else you would like us to do. Okay, you guys, we're just gonna do some starting with some footwork for Kumute training. So, Kumute Achi Okay, from Ati. Okay, so from here, I want you guys to step forward with your front foot, back foot. But um, don't look down, don't look to the side, just keep moving. And then when we go backwards, back foot, front foot. Os, os, os. And it, knee, thumb, chi, go, rip, sit, height, thank you, do. Okay, I'll show side, just walk your legs around. And it, knee, thumb, chi, go, rip, sit, height, give, do. Okay, now ready? Okay, you guys, so very important, try not to be too square, because if you move like this, it's very static. So you want to be relaxed, relax your shoulders, you want to be on the balls of your feet. So when you move forward, you're able to move fast without having any things keeping you on the floor. So if your feet are flat, more like you're dragging your feet. Us, if you're on the balls of your feet, it's easy. So you move forward and back. Us, us, us. Okay, so from here, when we move forward, the straight punch and back. So one and back. One and back. Us, us, us. And hits and back. Knee and back. Thumb. G, go, rip, teach, hut, Q, do. Okay, so important with this, don't open your arm to the side. So from here, elbow down, fist is going straight forward and back. So from here, go straight forward. So you use your leg as well, and you use your hip so you get more power. From your jab, boss. Yes. Okay. So, ashi and tai, swap your legs around, right leg in front. Oi. And it's me. Some. Chi. Go. Rip. Sit. Height. Q. Do. And ori. Okay, just turn to your side quickly, don't be stay. Okay, this front. Okay, come into the joy. Come on, deep. Okay, now next step, we're stepping in. So this is more of a, a lunging punch. So it's, it's more forward. Okay. So what I want you to do is when, when you step, you have to use your whole body to punch. Make sure to lift your heel up, but when you lift it up, it shouldn't go too far to the side. From here, you push off your leg, Straight, so off your leg, straight and back. Us, hands up, and hits, knee, thumb, chi, go, rip, sit, hut, cue, do. Okay, so, are we? It's important you guys, when you step, don't step too close. Because then from here, you, you're off balance and you can't really have any power from over here. So from, stance is a bit, a bit wider, but when you push off your leg, okay, almost like, like a lunge. Stepping in, lunge. But you turn your body and your arms together. So not just this. From there, little, little turn. Don't telegraph too much, don't move your hands unnecessarily and don't look to touch. Keep forward, straight, and back. And back. Us. Okay. Then hands in front. Okay, so right leg's gonna be in front. Yoi! Come on, deep! Yoi! And now put your mouth on left hand. And it's. Knee. Thumb. G. Go. Rick, 
十。せの、いい。押す。エンド、いなして。One, two, three, four, and the front. Okay, so now we're going to combine the two. So we did the jab and we did the lunge punch. So from here, just one, two, and back. So straight, turn your body a bit, straight again. Pause. If you just do this, now you have to chamber your body again for the second punch. As well as you use your body, shoulders already turned. So from here, you can just push off your leg and strip. Pause. Come with that, you wait. Come on, deep. And each slowly. One, two. So don't, don't do this. Or then open your arm. Straight. Straight. Us. This is Shitaski. Straight your hook or your backhand. Shouldn't come from underneath. Straight. Straight. Deep. Sub. G. So maybe if I can come here, now I come up. I could be doing maybe a more white more ashigiri or my other technique where if I stay low, I can do a lot of other things as a person won't be able to predict my movements. Us, because I'm staying the same. If I do this, you know I'm gonna punch us. Yes. If I, if I do this, you know I'm gonna kick, but if I stay here, you can do anything or kick this side, us. So try not to show when you do something, us. And for six thirty and it's knee thumb G go break teach height Q two and it was the it's knee thumb G go Touch the announcer, we can't really show, but if I fight like this and the person just puts their hands on mine, can I punch? Push in front. Now I have to do this and this. Us. Where's my hands in front? Now it's easier for me to do. Us. The other thing, don't lean forward. Us. Don't lean back. Keep your body up straight. Don't be too square, but also don't. Fight completely like this. Us. Okay, we don't do taekwondo. So very important is just to keep all these points, remember them, and so if you train, you don't have to think about it. Us. We, or when you fight, you don't have to think about it. When you train, make sure to check yourself. Make sure your hands are up. Make sure you're onto close. Make sure your body is correct position. Us. Okay, because if you get into a fight or you get to the fight. There's no use now. I think, okay, uh, do I have to keep my hands up? Do I, can I fight like this? Am I supposed to be back? Am I showing my heart? I'm gonna punch him. Us. So you have to keep in mind those things when you get into the fight should already be like muscle memory. Us. You should know if a guy kicks me to the head, oh, I can counter. Us. Or if he kicks my leg, block. And he fight. Those things you have to remember. Us. And train them a lot so they so they become a reflex. And not something you have to think about because it's important to think when you fight but
but you shouldn't overthink stuff because then you start giving away what you're gonna do. Yes. Okay. Fair enough? Okay. You move that out Someone's here. Okay, so now we're just gonna do carpet ski, the hook punch. Us. So from here I don't want you to drop your hand and hook us. It's not this. Okay, from here, turn your body a little bit, still looking to the front, and hook us. So from here, two. One, two, us. Of course, when you're fighting, don't turn like this beforehand. Us. So maybe he punches me, he moves to the side there. Then we hook us. Okay. Ready. And each turn, knee. Sound. Always keep your other hand up. She. Go. Rip. Six. Punch. Q. Two. Hits. Me. Some. She. Go. Rip. Six. Punch. Q. Two. Okay, so you sit down again. So when you use your, your hook, if your leg stays straight like this, you can feel off after this distance that you can't really use power. So you have to make sure to twist your hip but use your foot at the same time. This hand stays up, so when I hook, there, us. Normally, when you do it like this, you wouldn't be straight in front of the person. So if I'm in front of Leon, I'm not going to do this. Us. So normally when he comes in, you move to the side. I already turn. Us. From here, I can just unload the punch. Us. So this is there's a different there's different hooks or different ways to do it, but this one is more for moving out of the way and then counter you. Us. Okay. Stand up. Okay, so I want you to return, turn this leg, us, and it's me, sub, chi, go, rip, sit, hutch, keep, two. Okay, so now we're going to move into three punches. So one, two, and we're ready to turn, step in, us, and back. So straight, straight, in, hook. So fast, one, two, three, one, two, three, us. And first six slowly, it's, and back. B, thumb. G, go, Rick, Sitch, Hutch, Q, Jip, what's your day? You don't have to care, and it's me. And shin cook you and breathe in each and up. Knee and up. Top and up. Chi and up. And up. Hey, us. Okay, and just shake loose. Okay, just stretch your legs quickly. Okay, so the first combination we did was 
one, two, straight, right? Oops. So from here, one, two. As you step with the second one, you step a bit to the side. Inside leg. Oops. So one, two, Oops. one, two. Look, inside. Look. And put it out to Come on, deep. And each, one, two, three. Knee, one, two. Down. Chi. Go. Break. Six. Five. Q. Two. And eight. Okay, so the importance of moving to the side is if someone is moving in, and I kick, and I kick, inside leg extending straight in front of you, what can you do? Does anyone want that? Raise your hand. Okay. So basically, when I'm straight in front of the person, and I'm kicking, my body is a bit off center, us. So for him to punch me over, it's quite easy, because I only have one leg on the ground, us. But if I move out of the way, he's, he is here and I'm to the side. So for me to kick him, it's much easier. And he, when he has to get me off balance now, has to turn his body to touch anything else, which is, I'm already out of the way. So for me, when he turns to move behind him, it's much easier. So you have to get him, number one, in an uncomfortable position and then get him off balance. Don't put yourself in a vulnerable situation where you're straight in front of him. Now you're kicking. For him, it's easy just to punch you over. Us. Do that to your Come on, team. Okay, last thing. And it's. Knee. Zan. Chi. Go. Rip. Six, five, two, two. Okay, and a bit faster. Yoi! And it's. Remember, get down and watch me. Knee. Zap. Chi. Go. Rick. just above his knee, his leg would send him off balance. So if Leon steps back with that leg, so if your stance is a bit wide and I kick him there, it will push his leg back and send his body forward. You can kick with the, with the front leg, but then you have to step in as well to kick with the front leg. Just kicking, see if I punch him one, two, he can move out of the way. Whereas I punch him one, two, and step in. Kicking there, I'm out of the way already. So if he wants to punch me, he has to turn. And from there, if he turns towards me, you can counter with the other team. Plus. So get him off balance first. But if you've got him off balance already, for him to turn from over here, it's not easy. Plus. Okay. And Ashi and Tai, the legs around, right leg in front. Okay, so same thing. Right hand, left hand, inside leg kick. Plus. And car up on slow six, each knee, up, G, go, break, six, hut, Q, two, and ten fast, each knee. Sit. Hut. 
Slower, so I want you to do the proper kick. Us. Okay, so each. Up. Up. Get up. Each. Then knee step. Yoke the knee. So keep your hands up. Down. And down. Okay, now left's going in front. Knee. Up. Yoke the knee. And up. Okay, two more. Zah. Yoke the knee. And up. And up. Chi. Yoga giddy. And up. And up. And up. Us. And yes, we made it. Us. Us. And just find it up. 
Okay, I'm breathing H, simple Q, H. And me. Sam and G and last one go and now eight. Oh, six. Oh, okay, we move to that to eight. Come on, eight. Okay, so from now we're just going to do four punches straight, straight. She does E. Carpet ski. Us. So one, two, three. The hand slow up. Us. Okay. First six slowly and each knee. Thumb. G. Go. Rick. Okay, and ten. Each. Shots, he expects the next one to be tummy as well. Us, so he leaves his ribs open or his chest open. Us, so just be aware and make sure if you need to swap your legs around to do a technique, that's fine as well. Us, right. that would be up to you to leave the situation. Us, right. okay. and everyone else, push ups quickly. Okay, so we're just gonna do 10 clap and push ups. Us. And then 10, one push up, high jump, us. So the first one will just be clap hand, us. Let's go one, two, us. Okay, only do five. So we're gonna do first team in total, us, us. Okay, and it's me, up, G, go. Rick, teach, height, keep, do. Okay, and on your knees, we need to raise five seconds each. Knee, thumb, G, go. Okay, push up position. And each, down, one, two. And knee, thumb. And last one, go. And now, hey, what's? What's? And to your side, I'll get a And show me, hey, what's? Okay, you guys, and relax. Sit up. Thank you.